people seem to be surprised that uh, they're now raising the issue that a foreign flag should fly over government buildings, in other words, over Stormont. Now, I want to show you, because some of the things we do, unlike some of these wannabe prods that sit down in areas that say that, uh, for an example, I hear that Jackie McDonald, I have nothing again this man. I don't really know him. But I hear he's given off about uh, a parade to commemorate the, the sign of the covenant that is going to go, go past the uh, short strand. Why? Why should that be a problem? Okay, there's maybe money in it for certain people, but this is not about money. This is about our culture and our heritage, and it is not for sale. Now, I want to go into some things here that has happened out over Easter. The Catholic Church, we will be writing to the Catholic Church for them demanding for them to come out and make it clear where they stand on mass murders, serial killers. If you look at this bit of footage, and this is only one that was fit to get, but this is one in Mullaban. This is footage of a commemoration service to honour these mass murders, serial killers, lowlifes, terrorists. They're nothing else cannot glorify these people. They are flying their flags on the grounds of the chapel, in the chapel graveyards. And there was a priest there as well with them. They're now trying to glorify. And you will see here a photograph of what they call their patriotic dead. They want to glorify these people who snuck up behind men like that, who were out defending their country and shot them while they were out feeding their cattle or going to the church. You will also see here that uh, in Newton Hamilton, now in Newton Hamilton, I don't know how many times that town was bombed. The people murdered in and around that town. It was ethnic cleansing at its highest. For the first time in Newton Hamilton, they put that rag they call a flag, which in his own right, in his own country, has its right of place. And I have nothing against the flag itself, but it is put up in Amma Street in Newton Hamilton for the first time. They had far more flags in Newton Hamilton than they had in the whole, well, matter of fact, in Cullahanna, there was one flag. In Cross Lane, there were three flags. Fork Hill, Jonesboro, all them areas. There was more flags in Newton Hamilton. Why? Because there's Protestants living in Dun or sorry, in Amma Street. It is all about intimidating the Protestant people in that area. They are still trying to drive the Protestants out of that area. And you will listen to, to a bit here where four of them pulled up, three in one car and one in another car. And they got out and challenged uh, what I was doing. And I told them what I was doing. And you will hear a bit here of their view and their opinion. This is, you can hear it clearly yourself. We were all terrorists. All the Protestants that were killed were terrorists. There's people who are driving in here who have had people more than belonging to them who feel very offended whenever they see that flag. The only man that's more than we were only fighting our cause. Eh? Fighting our cause, man. You're only fighting your cause? Killing innocent men? They're not fucking innocent. What wasn't innocent? Willie Meeklin wasn't an innocent man. Tully Vallon wasn't an innocent. How do I know? Darkly Gospel Hall wasn't an innocent people. I don't have a bit of sense. Well, eh? So how can you turn around and say that all the Protestants were UVF I men? I said that. I said I heard the word. Ah, you heard the word. So that's stupid. So that's that. Butcher, that's a surprise shot. Well, I would take Tully Vallon as butcher. I'd take Darkly as butcher. I'd take Kings Mill as butcher. That's the history they want to write, that the people in Kings Mills were terrorists. They said the people of Tully Vallon were terrorists. Uh, Basically, any of the Protestants shot up around there were terrorists or linked to terrorists. Brain dead. Whenever I asked them, 
to name the individuals that were shot in that area by the so-called loyalists that he was talking about, by the people who were on the King's Mill minibus or in Tullyval and Orange Hall or Miss Meek who was shot 38 times, to name the individuals that they had killed, he couldn't think of one. They don't know their history, but they want to write it. But anyway, the, to move on from that, the other thing that I have to raise, the victims that are coming to this organisation are still coming to it, even though it has been two years from we got a penny. But OFM, DFM and CRC now, well, I don't expect much better from CRC. Um, whenever our people were being murdered at the height of the conflict here in South Amma, the organisation was called the Catholic Reaction Force because it was during a ceasefire. But we're now being attacked by the Catholic Reaction Council because that's all it is. And if anybody sits down and considers hundreds of millions put into that organisation, in the community relations in Northern Ireland. But again, nobody's asking these questions. How can an organisation that has got hundreds of millions spent on improving community relations then write a report to say that community relations have never been as bad? Are they looked at? No. They're given more money. And then they turn around and they have the cheek to tell us that we don't want to move on and that we're not entitled to any money because we're not prepared to sit down with the man who murdered us. That's what this is all about. Talk about evil becoming good and good becoming evil. If you ever wanted an example, this is the best example you will ever get. These people think that it's okay to do that and at the same time condemn the victims, the innocent victims, who have done nothing wrong except try to uphold law and order. And CRC will give money to these organisations. They will give money to these, the relatives for justice in them. But don't call us hypocrites and don't call us troublemakers. Whenever these people are going forward and representing mass murderers, people who would out and kill police officers, soldiers, women, and children to glorify the so-called New Ireland. Well, you can see your New Ireland if you look at some of these photographs and listen to what these individuals had to say. This is the history they want to write. And that history is we were to blame for what happened.